If you're considering getting a Doberman and you know you're maybe still just kind of learning about the breed, man, this is an important video to watch. Okay, the first behavioral issue in Dobermans, this is hands down the most obvious one that you're gonna notice right away when you start owning one of these dogs. It's, well, hyperactivity. These dogs need a lot of exercise, one to two hours per day at a minimum, uh, but sometimes more. Now, there are different varieties of Dobermans. There's the American Doberman, for example, the European Doberman, and the European Doberman's definitely known for needing more exercise, whereas American's known for needing a little bit less. And But even within those, there's individual genetic lines. Some breeders breed for high drive working dogs that need to be always moving, always active, and always with a task to complete. This can cause a huge headache if you're a really chill, relaxed household that you're bringing this dog into, whereas other dogs are definitely more relaxed. So in general though, for a Doberman, if you bring them into an active household where you're out there doing adventures all the time, outdoor things where you can bring your dog, maybe there's lots of kids stopping by, maybe there's another dog in the house. If it's a very active household, generally, um, Dobermans tend to thrive really well in that type of environment because they need all that activity. A quick pro tip for you, try to exercise their mind as well as their body. If you exercise their mind with things like puzzle toys, games, tasks they can accomplish and frequent command training, you're really gonna help relax the Doberman and give them a task that they feel like they have to accomplish. That will help a ton. Every bit, if not even more than exercising their body. So engage their mind and you're gonna have a lot easier time with this overactivity thing. The next uh, kind of negative behavior you're very likely to see in a Doberman is stealing things. They love to steal things. Now they can steal your socks, your shirt, a kid's toy, whatever. They're incredibly intelligent dogs and they'll put that mind to bad if you're not giving them enough good outlets for that mind power, for all that intelligence. And the thing is, they're smart enough to know that they're doing wrong, so they'll do things like steal your socks and make a beeline straight for the dog door and try and hide it on their way out so they can get out into the backyard where you're not around and they can play with it uninterrupted. So watch for them stealing things because that's a really common one with the Doberman. Now, if you're experiencing this right now and this is happening to you, try giving your Doberman more unique toys to play with. Puzzle toys and toys of different textures and types uh, and different interactive toys. I'm willing to bet your Doberman's probably a little bit bored with what you have right now on hand and they're turning to this as an outlet. Now, another very common behavioral problem in Dobermans is leash reactivity. This is a problem with these dogs because they are protection dogs by instinct. That's what they were made for in the beginning. They read their owner's emotions incredibly well. So when you start getting tense, because maybe you know your dog is starting to react, they'll read that through the leash and they'll become even more protective. And when you have them on a leash, think about it. A dog, when they get a little bit frightened, what's their instinct? Same as you and me, right? Fight or flight. That's the instinct that you get. Well, when they're on a leash and they're held nice and close to your body, flight isn't an option. So the only thing left is to fight. So that's where a lot of leash reactivity comes from. It's a very common problem in the Dobermans. It's a mixture of being able to read their owner's emotions incredibly well and just being a protective breed in general. Now, surprisingly, the best way to address this issue if you're having this problem with your Doberman is just to relax. Tell yourself you have the perfect dog. Let your shoulders drop. Let the leash come out a little bit. It'll lessen the fight or flight reaction from your Doberman, and you'll probably have a lot less leash reactivity issues going forward. And that's all because they're reading your emotions better than you think. I know, amazing dog breed, right? The next behavioral problem with this breed is the nipping and the biting. Now, just to be clear, I'm talking about puppies. I'm not talking about adults. Doberman adults don't have biting problems in general. This is not an aggressive breed. They're not out biting for no reason. If you don't believe me, just spend some time looking at it on YouTube. I've done plenty of videos myself debunking this myth about the aggressive Doberman. But as puppies, from about 12 weeks of age to six months of age, when they're, until they're done with teething, or about there, um, tends to be a real bad nipping and biting stage. That's the case with a lot of breeds, but with Dobermans, it's exceptionally bad. These dogs have a lot of energy, a lot of drive, and a lot of prey drive, so that nipping and biting stage that most puppies go through tends to be kind of exaggerated with this breed. So you gotta interrupt it with rock solid consistency to make sure it doesn't become a habit, otherwise you will have an adult Doberman that has a biting issue. This nipping and biting stage being so rough with this breed is one reason that first year with a Doberman puppy is the most difficult 
year that you'll have owning a Doberman. The next real common issue in Dobermans, general anxiety. They do suffer from this. Now this can be separation anxiety, just general neediness or other types of anxiety, but really this can be the root cause of a lot of these problems I've already mentioned on this video. And it can lead to other really bad behaviors such as barking, uh, crying and howling, digging up your yard, destructive chewing in your house and a whole lot of other really bad things. And why are Dobermans so prone to this? Well, really because they're Velcro dogs by nature, which means they just love to be stuck to your side and they're really focused on their owners. They want lots of human interaction. So they're very prone to separation anxiety as an example. Um, they have a high uh, exercise requirement and if you're, they're not getting that, their anxiety will also go through the roof. They also are big habit forming dogs. So if they're used to being around you all the time, like from you work from home people, and then you decide to leave for a good chunk of the day, there's a good chance they're gonna have anxiety and stress as a result. It's a double-edged sword. It's great that they're in tune with their owner's emotions. It makes training so easy. It makes their protective instincts just right on point. But it's also a downside because you have potential for anxiety in kind of a mismanaged relationship with your Doberman. Okay, what are a couple things you don't need to worry about with the Doberman breed? Well, first is them not being trainable. These dogs are incredibly trainable. They're one of the world's most trainable dog breeds and they're the fifth most intelligent breed in the world. You can double check me on that. Take a look at some of the studies that are out there that show this. A lot of studies by Stanley Korn show this, um, but you don't need to worry about them being trainable. They are very in tune with their owners, incredibly intelligent, and they want to please their owners. So they're very good at figuring out new commands you're trying to teach them and learning them very quick and responding to them consistently. Another thing you don't need to worry about as much with the Doberman is them escaping or running off. These just really aren't escape artists like many other dog breeds are. And when they do escape, a lot of owners will come home and find them sitting on the front porch, for example. Now still be safe, still keep your dog contained and be responsible. But what I'm saying is they don't have that huge desire to roam that a lot of breeds do. An unneutered male Doberman might roam a bit more, but still a lot of owners find their dogs just waiting on the front porch if they've gotten out of their yard. Now, luckily these issues are all very solvable for a trainable dog like the Doberman. All you gotta do is train them in a method, in a manner that really clicks with their natural instincts. Luckily on this channel, we have a ton of videos to help you do just that with very specific techniques that are just made exactly for this breed. Now they may not always work on a poodle or a chihuahua or a Labrador, but these techniques are great for a Doberman. This isn't just any old dog breed, so don't train them like any old dog. So definitely hit that subscribe button down below, guys, before you go anywhere, and the little bell icon next to it to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. And, uh, you know, keep being great Doberman breed ambassadors. Spread the word about how amazing this dog breed is. And uh, feel free to hang out, binge watch some of the videos on my channel. I'd love to see you more. All right, and uh, I'll see you next week. Take care.